Hey everybody, Spencer Jones here with Jones and to Get Fit, bringing you our live cooking show. That's right, our wonderful, our live cooking show that we have going on here from live from the Jones Kitchen. That's right, a lot of awesome recipes uh, happening here over the past year. We can't believe we've been doing this show for over a year. Holy cow, crazy. And today we're bringing you something special. We're bringing something unique, something a little different here. It is, as you maybe read, all right, we're back, folks. Sorry about that craziness. Let me get a drink of coffee here. Oh, all right, thank you. Okay, so as I said, in the description, right, live cooking show, a lot of crazy stuff happening here over this past year. It's hard to believe we've done it for over a year, but today's an amazing recipe, super delicious, super tasty. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't wait. It is <gasps> pumpkin ravioli. That's right, so this is something totally different, something we've never done on here pumpkin ravioli and you know what this is super easy uh so anybody can make it right you don't have to be an expert at making pasta you don't have to be an expert at having the rollers no we're gonna make it so easy that anybody can do this so even if you struggle struggle at cooking you can make this all right so a couple things it takes a couple more ingredients it's going to take a little bit more time to set up but wow what an amazing dinner this is going to be for your family for your friends, for you. It's just gonna be awesome. So a couple things to get you started here. Let me push my coffee aside so I don't kick it when I move ya. Come on, join me in my kitchen here. You're gonna need two pans. You're gonna need a small pan and a bigger pan. Now, I water already heating up in there, coming to a boil, or trying to boil. All right, other things you're gonna need. You are going to need some pepper, some black pepper. You can need sea salt some honey get the little straighter so you're not looking at a sideways angle honey sage leaves now you don't need the sage but you're gonna like it so i suggest sage all right you're gonna need pumpkin puree that's that one right there pumpkin puree now don't get the pumpkin pie filling uh, try to avoid that so no pumpkin pie filling pumpkin puree pumpkin pie filling no pumpkin puree okay ricotta cheese so you need a half a cup of pumpkin pie filling a half a cup of ricotta cheese. You need two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. We got the grated cut. You need a bag, Ziploc bag. Got some extra Parmesan cheese in the back. About a tablespoon of unsalted butter and some flour. Now, what you don't see, which is still in the refrigerator, you're going to need an egg, cold water, about two tablespoons of cold water, and, 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 let me get you in a little better position here so you can kind of see everything happening. And you're going to need the special ingredient, wonton wrappers. You're going to want the wonton wrappers instead of, because that's going to be our pasta. And really, it's the same thing as pasta. Um, so makes it so much easier. All right, now this is a recipe you can make with your family. Um, as I've said in other shows, I would highly suggest prepping this a little bit beforehand. So if you're having kids help you out, it goes a little bit faster. Kind of like what I do with the cooking show. Helps us go along a little bit faster. Okay, you're going to need your food processor of some type, or you can mix it up by hand if you wish. But a food processor is going to make life a lot easier. I got my Ninja here. So what we're going to do in our Ninja is we're going to, going to put a half a cup of uh, pumpkin puree in there. All out of the tan, perfect. Set that aside. You need your half a cup of ricotta cheese. I don't know about you, but for me, man, I love ricotta cheese. Super delicious, super tasty, but it messes with me. I, I smell like Italian food for a little while after that. That's all right. Katie will understand, maybe, if I'm lucky. I'm sorry, honey, in advance. You have two tablespoons of shredded Parmesan cheese. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tasty. You're going to add that to it. All right. So you got all that stuff in there. Now you're going to want one teaspoon, one tisp of honey. All right. Uh, so just one tisp of it. Now, I'm not going to measure it out. I kind of know what a teaspoon looks like. If you want to measure it out, that's fine. We're gonna go with that. I'm looking over here at the teaspoon size to help me eyeball it. There we go, we'll say that's about a teaspoon. You're going to want a quarter tisp teaspoon of sea salt. Now again, I don't measure. So we're just gonna put a couple cranks in there. So it feels like it would be. And then another quarter tisp or teaspoon of pepper. So again, just grinding this up. This is gonna take a little bit longer. Of like freshly ground pepper. Now if you have black pepper, that works, you know, faster than doing it this way. This is a little extra workout, you know, work out the forearms, 
biceps a little bit, you know, wrists, you know, strong. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. All right, awesome. So that's all you need in there. That's it. What you're gonna do? I brought my cover. That's all right. We'll make it. Clean that off just a little bit. All right, we're going to puree this. So you want to hold it down long enough. Um, if you have a mixer or blender that you're using, that's fine too. Um, you just want to puree it. So hold it down, let it puree. It's going to take a little bit here, but it's going to work. Just let it do its job. And now as this is going, as the water is starting to boil, that takes some time. All right, we're going to help coax this along here. I press up along the sides, that's all right. Use our spatula and force back in the center. Notice I'm not using my fingers because that would be bad. Get back in the center. Get it all mixed up real good. We'll do one more time here. Just to make sure we get the stuff in the corners and down there and all taken care of. Notice how it's not running when I put the spatula in. We don't want to chop up the spatula. That would be bad. But if you have kids helping you, or your you know, son, daughter helping you out, awesome. Then prep this up or have them help you prep it, and then put it in here, and then let them watch all the craziness. It's cool watching all these colors and mix up. And while you do it, you do some yoga. You do like crow pose, crow, not crow, tree pose. Crow sits in a tree, that works. All right, so what we have, here's our pumpkin puree that we made. This is our filling for our ravioli. How quick and easy was that? So, you can pop this out here, clean off the blades. Now here comes the crazy part that's gonna make it easy. Now I've got this recipe from Fix8, which is off of Beachbody On Demand. It's a cooking show that Autumn Calories does. She's a um, creator of 21 Day Fix, 21 Day Fix Extreme, and workouts like that. Um, her and her brother have this cooking show that's on Beachbody On Demand. Incredible recipes, super healthy, awesome stuff. So that's where I got this recipe in case anybody's curious. All right, we got our pumpkin puree. Here comes the cool part. I have in this glass cup, or in this glass, I have a Ziploc bag. That's it, it's just a Ziploc bag. And I put it in here, and I stuffed it in like that. I kind of put the edges down just so I don't mix it, mess it up. And open it up so it's open on the inside. Now you want this to stay cool, um, so we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator as soon as we get it out of here, but first, we're just going to put it in our plastic bag, like that. Now, you don't have to have um, the glass there, but it really helps you uh, get it off the spatula cleanly. All right, got a little bit more here. So this will make a lot of um, pieces of ravioli, so depending on the size of your family. Now, a serving size is two, Raviolis, but you can obviously up that or down that, uh, depending on how many um, carbs you want in your diet and all that. We'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. But these freeze, so what's awesome is like, I'm making this whole batch here, and I'm gonna freeze it. It's gonna be perfect for Katie and I, because it'll last for about two months in the freezer, so that we can pull it out and make it at another time. All right, water's starting to boil. We're going to just zip this up here. Take it out, there we go. And we're just gonna stick this in the refrigerator. So here's our pumpkin puree, that's all it is. Okay, we're gonna stick that in the refrigerator just for the time being. Now, as I'm getting that out, or putting that in, I'm getting our wonton wrappers. Here's what they look like, wonton wrappers. What? You can find them in most grocery stores will carry them. Um, wonton, there's a W that got cut off there in case you're worrying about spelling. So. Um, you're usually in the grocery, a good grocery store, in the refrigerated section, kind of by other Asian foods. So you want a wonton wrappers, one egg, you didn't see before, and then a little bit of water. So before we even get started on making the ravioli, our ravioli's in there, staying cold and all that stuff, we're going to melt the butter first. So we're going to turn on our burner to about a medium low, medium, right in there, okay? We're gonna throw our butter in. So this is unsalted butter, about a, a tablespoon of that right in to the pan. We just turned on. As that's starting to melt, we're going to get our sage out. We're gonna take, mm, depends on how many servings you have or really want 
with it. We're going to, it's about one leaf per serving. So we're just going to stick with three to make it easy. Mmm, smells so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick the leaves in the butter. And what that's going to do is it's going to infuse the butter with the sage. And the sage is going to be infused with butter. It's going to be super delicious. And it's going to be an extra little bit of topping for your ravioli. Now, if you really wanted to uh, add a little bit more to it, you can. I'm going to turn that down to about a low, let that melt before I put the, the butter in there. Now, if you really wanted to, you could um, have some chicken broth or vegetable broth. Heat that up a little bit um, and use that as well. Use a couple tablespoons of that. Uh, so it's not a soup, right? It's a ravioli with a little bit more liquid in there. That's totally cool if that's what you like to do. Not, um, I'm just not doing that tonight. So that's, you know, we're not doing that, but that's okay. Um, okay, so what you need now, as the butter's melting, we're waiting for that, we're gonna crack our egg. <coughs> we're gonna use the egg white. So here's what you do. Hopefully I can do this on camera. <coughs> if I can stop coughing. Okay, so first we crack it and open it up in half as best as we can, and don't let the yolk go. Now, some of you might have a fancy thing that does this, a fancy uh, device that helps you do that. That's awesome. I don't have one right now, so what I'm doing is I'm helping get the white out. That's a clearish section. And now the yolk, I'm kind of plopping back and forth between the shells and letting that extra liquid, extra white, drain off. Now, I'm going to put that in there. There we go. We have our egg white. Now, I'll separate it. We're going to add two tablespoons of water to that. Cold water, preferably. I, that's why I had it in the refrigerator. And we're just going to mix it together with a fork here. All right. Let me bring you over here real quick. You can see that our butter's melted. Over here, we're going to brown this butter. I know it's really hard to see with this light. Let me turn that light off here. It'll be a little darker, but that's all right. You'll make it. So we can see a little bit better. All right. So there's the butter. We're going to infuse that with our sage leaves. So we're going to place that in there, get that all set. I'm going to turn that down to a low, as a matter of fact, just to make sure we get that going. Our water is boiling. I know it's really hard to see. Whoop, there we go. Kind of hard to focus on. Camera doesn't like that lighting. Oh, well. So I'll turn that off too so you can see a little bit better. All right, I know it's a little darker now, but you can hopefully still see what's going on here with this light. You know, I'm going to turn that headlight back on. It's just a little easier for me to see and for you to see me. Okay, our sage leaves. Now this is where multitasking comes in handy. If you have more than one person, it's a little bit easier. I'm gonna turn that up actually from just a higher low so it doesn't totally just stop. All right, so we have our egg white and water done. Now this could take time. This is where your kids can come in and you can really help each other out. We're gonna dust our, our flour, our surface with flour. We're gonna dust our surface with a little bit of flour so that helps to, them to not stick to our cutting board, our surface we're doing this, you do this on tabletop, wherever you need. All right, so we're taking our wonton wrappers. We're gonna lay them out. And lay out, now, depending how much this makes, this should make roughly about 12 raviolis. So you can kind of count at least, you know. All right, that's four. It's about two per serving or so. Depending on how much carbs you want, we're gonna add a little more here, because I can. So we have nine all made up on our little board here. All right, so wonton wrappers laid out. This is our ravioli, right? This is our pasta. Instead of making the pasta, uh, we're using this. I'm gonna turn the sage over here so it really covers up in the butter. Turn that up a little bit. We want it to brown. So the tricky part with this butter aspect, now you don't need it by any means. You don't need it, but it's gonna be really helpful is, oh, it smells so good too. You want the butter to brown. So you want it to be reducing down. As soon as you turn it, as soon as you see it goes brown, shut off the heat. Uh, if you have gas, shut it off. If you have electric, shut it off and move the pan because the pan will still hold on to that heat. Okay, so now we're gonna get our filling. Here's our pumpkin filling we just made, right? We're going to squeeze
squeeze it away from one corner here, and we're going to make a little tube to squeeze it out on. So we're cutting out just um, about a core, no, half inch off the end, something like that. Hang on the size of it, make sure your trash doesn't get in there. And then you're gonna want to squeeze about a tablespoon into each of your raviolis. All right, so if you want, you measure it out beforehand and then squeeze it in. So you're getting your roughly even measurements on each one. But we're just gonna trust the process here. You know what, let's get you a little bit closer because it's kind of fun to watch all this crazy stuff happen and unfold. We'll bring you, oh, saw my crazy kitchen out of there, didn't you? We'll bring you over here, down into the craziness. All right, we'll tap that, see if that focuses in a little more. There we go, check that out, folks. All right, I'm doing this left-handed, this is kind of scary. We'll see. Don't make fun of me, I'm left-handed. I'm not left-handed. All right, we're gonna add just a little bit, about a tablespoon worth in each one, there we go. This part the kids can have fun with, right? They make a mistake, just wipe it off and start again. That's all good. Okay. Keep cruising. So you just squeeze it on out. Almost like you're doing Christmas cookies right here. So, as I said earlier, this recipe takes a little bit more work. It's a little bit more time, but it's still easy. When you think about ravioli, amazing what you can do. Simple, easy. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, Maybe a little full on some of these here, but that's all right. Okay, perfect. We're just gonna leave that right here for now. So we ran out of space, but you know what? I got this cool clean counter here. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So because of what's awesome about this is I can freeze these, right? So I will make them all on camera here because it's a show. For just you so you can get the hang of it. Sorry, my head's a little chopped off there. Uh, but I want you to at least get the idea of what we're doing here. So you're set to make it. We got six more here. Let's see. How many can we squeeze out on this? There we go. Switch hands. Sorry about that. There we go. Squeeze there. Keep bringing it out. I want to keep an eye on that butter. I'm, I'm checking it out. It's looking okay, but I'm going to have to get up and move it here shortly. So I'm, a lot of components, a lot of things happening here. This is not, I would not begin with this as far as a cooking show goes, or as far as like a little part of recipes, but that's okay. You don't, you don't have to. It's still easier than what it, it could be, but I wouldn't start here. Um, we'll do four more. That's kind of what I have in my hands. And as I said, don't freak out. You can always freeze these for later, which is my plan. So I'm just using the, the bag and, and pushing it all towards that open end. And there, and there, a little more there. Yep. Last one, oh, this will be perfect. Perfect size. All right, put that over here. We're gonna take a look over here at our butter. So it's looking pretty good. It's not browning yet, but that's okay. We're just gonna churn these over. I can grab onto them. Again, trying to do this with my left hand, folks. Stop making fun of me. Or you can make fun of me, that's okay too. I can deal with it. I can't grab it. There we go. And holding the stand. You know, still looking for that, uh, Person to help. Anybody's interested. All right. We're gonna put you back on your normal's place over here, so you check out the rest of our kitchen. All right. Hopefully you can still see. There we go. See our ravioli is here. Egg white, water mixture. You can take your fingertip. Okay. Take your fingertip, dip it in, and then you're going to rub or just. Uh, put the egg white mixture with your finger on the ends of the ravioli. This is going to act as your glue because you're going to put other ravioli on the top and press it down. So you don't need a ton, but you want to make sure you get it, it all the way coated. You don't want any like little open spots. There you go. That's like that. So it's, again, it takes a little bit of time. You can have your kids help you. That's awesome. Friends help you have a little cooking party over at your house. All right. 
and eat a delicious dinner. How's that? How are we looking on butter? Still doing all right over there. So this is why it takes a little bit extra time, right? We got our water boiling. We're set to rock and roll as soon as we're ready. It all flies by pretty quick, but imagine you do this once, you prep it, freeze it, which is awesome. So I'll just do the ones on the board here first. Uh, I got a couple more here to go, four more. Oh my gosh! They're already sticking together like that. Oh, no. You do that one. Oh, butter's just starting to brown here. Let's see if I can quick do this these here. You could brush it on too with a brush, but honestly, I mean, it's your finger. As long as your finger's clean, you're good. All right, almost done. Being not quite as graceful here, just some rushing. All right, one more. We gotta take care of that butter. Excellent. All right, so what we're gonna do, our butter here is browning. I'm bring you over here, show you what this looks like. See our butter is browning right there. So what we're going to do is shut, turn the heat off, Oops. put the um, sage leaves on some paper towel, Ooh, barely made it, just to drain a little bit. We shut off the heat, come on. There we go, so we're gonna use that butter a little bit later. All right, back to our wonton wrappers over here. Cool. We have nine already um, with the egg mixture on the end, so we're set. We're gonna take our wonton wrapper, we're gonna gently place it on, and then try squaring it up, and then press. Now, you wanna get all the air out first. So you wanna start in the center, and I go around with my fingertips like that, around the center. Try not to squeeze all the, the filling out and then press on the edges nice and firmly. So you don't want it to leak out. And if it leaks out, it happens, right? It's not the end of the world. Not the best thing, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so again, try to go around the center. You can use both, finger, or both hands if you want and kind of go around your filling. That one got a little close to the edges. And then press firmly. And that's it. This is how you do ravioli, the simple, easy way, the Jones and to get fit way, the way to be healthy, happy, and fit all together. There we go. Try to make sure it doesn't leak out. No air pockets or as little air pockets as possible. It's going to puff up and you know what? If they do, they do. We're just gonna cruise by here. It takes, as I said, it takes a little bit of time. But as I'm doing this, let's chat a little bit. How is your fitness journey going? Is it good? Is it bad? Are you struggling? If you are struggling, what are you struggling with? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to find out, and um, maybe I can help you out. Offer some ideas or suggestions of way for you to succeed. Let me know. Um, or you know, maybe uh, going back to the food part. Maybe it's nutrition, something you struggle with, and, and you'd like some help of recipes to eat. We got a great breakfast recipe next week. We got a couple dinners here, and so we're going back to breakfast. Um, a viewer requested one, so that's gonna be delicious next week. Nice and easy, which I try to make all of our recipes be that way. This one's not necessarily fast. Eh, it takes a little bit more work or effort, but imagine, you can wow your family and friends with your cooking talent by doing this one. Wow, can't believe you spent hours making ravioli. For us, that's awesome. You're a ruler, you're the king of the world. Whoop, here's one time. That's awesome, you know. You get the praise and all that good stuff, and you're like, hey, yeah, you know, but you gotta earn your dinner, guys. You gotta bust out a workout. You can't just eat. So then they're like, oh, man, really? Like, yeah, we're gonna bust out. Tony Horton workout, the warrior from P90X3. 30 minutes, killer workout. I did not get all the air out of that one. And you know, fun stuff like that, and then you earn your dinner. All right, almost done. Two more here. 
Try to get all the air out. Now, I'm definitely not a pro ravioli maker by any means. Oop, got a little bit of filling up. That's all right. Just wipe it off. Try to squeeze it nice and tight in that area so it doesn't get loose. One more here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four of these. I can count really four tonight. And the others that I made will be, I'll make them, get them all set like this. And then I'm going to place them on parchment paper. I don't know if you saw it off to the side. Parchment paper. And stick them in the freezer. And then when they freeze in a, like an hour or so, then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag, right? Something, a resealable bag like that. So that they can be made at any time. You can cook them straight from frozen, like uh, six to eight minutes, something like that and boiling water, and you're set to go. But, for ones like this that are already not frozen, bring you back up here, hello world. All right, so you can see a little bit more what's happening. There we go, perfect. All right, we have our raviolis. Grab one here. We made our filling. We put our filling inside. It's so cute, mm, isn't it adorable? Okay, so we're filling in. We press along the edges. I'm just double checking this one. And what you're going to do, you got your boiling water. You're going to slip it in the boiling water and hope and pray that your filling doesn't come out. We're going to hope and pray, folks. All right? Don't stick your hand in the water. That would hurt. Seek medical attention if you do. All right, now it's two per serving. If you're following the fixate plans or those food containers, all that good stuff, this equals one and a half uh, yellows, carbs, and then uh, one blue as well. Now, if you, don't, if you don't want pumpkin for this, that's totally cool. You can make it with um, sweet potato and all that. That totally works as well. Um, sweet potato, uh, I believe pumpkin has like half the calories of sweet potato. So, and you know, this the season for pumpkin. We're just going to gently start to help them avoid getting stuck together. They don't like congregating together. And you're going to let this go for about two minutes when they're not frozen. So just about two minutes here. And then you'll be set. Let me grab. Come on. Get unstuck. They're liking each other. We'll let that go. Okay. Two minutes there. We're going to grab a bowl. Two bowls. Now with these, they are fragile, so you don't want to drain them, right? You don't want to strain them, put it in a strainer, pour it out. You don't want to do that. Come on, get to a boil. We were boiling before. You want to make sure your water stays at a boil. That's not good. It's coming right back. We're okay. Let's go another minute or so left on those. I'm going to start working with these ravioli on the parchment paper I have over here. As we're waiting for that to boil. Excellent. So, ooh, yeah, it's up right there nicely. Another minute or so, making sure those look good. And we're set to go. So this is different, right? We're doing something crazy. Yes, it takes a little bit more time. Yes, it takes a little bit more work and effort to do. It's different. But think about it. You're making ravioli. We're showing you these cool little tricks, right? Use wonton wrappers of filling, super healthy, super easy to make, and pressing it together. This is something you can do with your family. This is something you do with your friends, right? Have them come over, bust out a workout, and then make some ravioli together. It's gonna mean so much more. It's gonna be so delicious. Oh, it's just gonna be incredible. Uh, so give it a shot, let me know. Take a video, take a picture of your family doing it, of making it, the final results, whatever, and take Jones and Get Fit. I would love to see what you do and how it goes for you. Uh, at, on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those, hit me up, let me know, tag me in it, I would love to see. Okay, so we have our bowl. You will want to take out the ravioli with a slotted spoon of some type. Ooh, that one slipped back in. Get excited and put it right into the bowl. Again, you don't want to strain it because they're a little more fragile than you know, like the store-bought ones with the thicker pastry. All right. right up in here. Take it out. There we go. Got this one. Got 
this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of our butter here that we have. Where's my special? I gotta grab a new one. Hold on, hold on. Need another spatula. Now, if this butter got too cold on you, this one didn't, but if it starts to solidify on you, then just reheat it up a little bit so it melts. Now, at the end of the world, you're gonna want just a little bit, like about a teaspoon or so, on each. We're gonna put a little bit of drops. That's about a half of a teaspoon. A little bit on that one. There we go. Get off the side of the pan. Garnish it with, get these over here so you can see, with a little bit of grated Parmesan, about a tablespoon or so, and then one leaf each. Now you want to eat these because they're freaking delicious. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me turn that a little bit easier so you can see it. Whoa, there we go. Boom. Check that out. Get it in camera view. So that is your pumpkin ravioli, folks. Check out how tasty that looks. So delicious. Oh, yeah. You know you want it. Easy to make. Now, one and a half uh, carbs in each one. So if you wanted to have more, you got to think about how much you're allowed in your diet. But simple, easy way to make it. Healthy, awesome, delicious. That's it. That's Jones in a Good Fit. We made easy pumpkin ravioli. Mind blowing. I want to see you make it. I want to see you try our recipes. Check out our YouTube channel. Links below. Check it out and subscribe to it if you could. I greatly appreciate it. Like this video. Share it with your friends. I would truly appreciate you doing that. And take us in pictures after you make something. Let's see it. Or challenge me. That's fun too. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great week. Be healthy, be fit, be happy, all that good stuff. We'll catch you all later.